welcome back to my channel and welcome to fears to fathom now i know that we have all seen fears to fathom um, i normally have it on in the background so i've never actually like watched it watched it i normally just have it on in the background and just kind of ignore it um and i've also never played them but i do know that they're really good so i wanted to you know play them myself so we are going to start out with the first episode, Home Alone. I guess for anyone who doesn't know, um, you know, the explanations there. Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a story narrated by ones who survived. You are playing episode one, ep more episodes to come. Right now there's three, Home Alone, Norwood Hitchhike, and Carson House. Um, it looks like there's at least two more. I don't know. Hopefully they make a lot. Well, maybe not, like, a lot, because you don't want to, like, you know. But, like, you know, it's interesting. So, you know, let's jump right on into it. Maybe? Fears to Fathom Episode 1 Home Alone July 12th I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. I guess I'll just start. Kind of excited to be playing this for myself. It was the middle of summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Though, I did plan on fixing that. Sure, after this, you did. That sound. Dear Lord. Uh, can I move or do anything? I can zoom in. Oh, it's an alarm clock. I was like, I thought it was like a fire alarm. I woke up around eight. I didn't read the rest of that. Jeez. Hello? What? That was... I thought it just gave me something to interact with. Hello, neighbors. Good howdy doody. Uh, there we go. I was like, I know this gave me something to interact with. I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right after waking up. Okay. I, oh, I thought it had given me something here to... Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Hello? What? Oh, there we go. That's not gonna be good. See to crouch. I don't like that, honestly. <laughs> Mom, escaped to read text messages. Dad and I may be back Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14. Think I'm gonna take a little nap. Probably gonna order pizza. Some pizzas, yes. No need to order anything. I already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. 
Wait, when are you guys coming back? Dad and I are going to be back on Monday, honey. Didn't I tell you that yesterday? Cool. Take care, honey. Sleep on time. I promise you'll get the Xbox like you promised. I hope you'll get the Xbox like you promised. I mean, if you get that discount, can I invite Mason and Josh over for the night for homework? Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure to check it's them on the door before opening it. Check through the blinds. Take care, honey. Sure thing, mom. Um, house chem. Yeah, crap. I forgot. Probably going to do tonight. LOL. Same. My parents are out for the night. Want to come over? We can play some Mario Kart. I'll let you know. Uh, curious. Okay. Call Josh, too. I can't promise dude may have plans with Nat. Uh, yo, yo. You coming to Jessica's tomorrow? Yeah, I heard Josh coming too. What about you? I don't know. What's wrong? Weren't you going to see her yesterday? She didn't show up. It's like I don't even matter to her. You matter. You're 14. Like, then again, at 14, this was all a big deal. Unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light squared, then you're energy. I guess I'm energy then. How's chem? Um, just crouch and look through all the windows. Nope, I'm just seeing things. Okay. Don't mind me. Okay. Like, I know there's probably not going to be a lot to, like, poke around in and explore. Because it's more about the story. But also, like, I like being nosy, you know? Don't ask me why, but I went straight to my parents' room. Dog up. Creepy man. Is he just doing his thing? Okay. Is this just gonna come up with an excuse for all of the weird things I do? Is it just gonna ask me to crouch anytime I go near a window? Hello? These things are neat, but they literally offer no privacy. Why did I come out here? Look around, explore. Okay. No, you said you were hungry, but you know what? I want to go in the pool first. No? to say about how I for some reason went swimming okay don't mind me all right what if I just took the car I mean we just take the car and run I'm sure the keys are around here somewhere okay close this behind me all right uh, kitchen so what do you want to eat, my dude? Not mom's stupid lasagna. The food was cold. G to throw? Okay. But also, like, obviously it's going to be cold. Like, do you not have a microwave? I need it to warm the food up. Like, yeah, but, like, also... So did it just... Okay. Whatever. Didn't have dishes to wash. That is a loud oven. Like, is your oven okay? Food was heating up. Yep. Food was nice and hot. I liked watching TV while I ate. Are you just going to eat the whole thing out of, like, a blazing hot tray? Maybe? Okay. Honestly, even now as an adult, I'm just like, if I'm home alone, everything's getting locked. Mmm, a nice tray of lasagna. Um... Where's your remote, dude? 
The background noises are a little more off-putting than I originally thought they were going to be. Oh. You're really just eating the whole thing. Was I supposed to see that? I was already feeling sleepy after eating the food. My hands are getting sweaty. Uh, we're gonna have to call it off, man. Something came up, but you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. Oh, I'm taking it with me. I'm breaking the game a little bit. But I'm taking the tray with me. I'm sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow. Which way? I really hate this music. I thought it was a clipping through. I remember I had homework to do before going to bed again. I really, I couldn't focus because of the TV's noise downstairs. Okay. Like this game was really like, you didn't turn the TV off. You need to go do that. Like, please man. Oh, so it's just, no matter what, I'm just gonna struggle going up the stairs. Why? I, 12.38 a.m. Homework was done. I was off to bed. I definitely just skipped something. You really do have, like, the worst sleep schedule, my guy. Don't stay up late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Miss Paula this time. I guess she's that neighbor that just complains no matter what you do. I'm anxious. 1.16 a.m. I got up to get some water. Uh, I, this is why I try desperately not to get up in the middle of the night. Because I'm just always afraid something freaky is going to happen. But also, like, just being home by yourself is scary. Uh... How... What do you drink? Just bottled water out of the fridge? No? I'm just gonna shut this behind me. Just for safety. I ate the whole lasagna. Yes, you did. It's no wonder you're so thirsty. Um... What is this? Oh, did not like that. No, thank you. You getting up to get some water? Where do you get it from? Can I turn on any of these lights? Like, I know no one just wants lights glaring in their face, but it's the middle of the night and you're home alone. I would be turning on every single light I pass. Because that's just going to be a no from me, my guy. I'm too anxious for this. Like, naturally, too much of an anxious person to just be like, Hey, it's dark, it's the middle of the night, I'm home alone, I'm 14. Let me just, you know, is there something I'm missing? Jeez. Just scared the crap out of myself. Oh. Uh, Okay.
What if I go up to my room and drink this? Okay. And we right click to drink. You're swallowing very loud. Okay, so we've gotten our drink. You're not just gonna let me be an anxious baby and hide in the room? Really? I don't want to go out there. You know what? The room's perfectly safe. The room is perfectly fine. Do I have to take the water bottle with me? Do I have to be downstairs when I drink? You know what? I've had a, just about enough of your scraping metal residual noise. You know that? Just gonna shut this door behind us. Alrighty. Hold on, one image attachment. You there? Who is at the door? I don't know this man. I'm just gonna hide under the bed. Because you know what? That's the best place to hide. And we're just gonna stay here for the rest of our days. Nice and quiet. So do I just stay here indefinitely? We're gonna find out. I love that it gave us the immediate option to hide and wasn't like, yeah, you know what? Like I decided to go see who was at the door. It's like, if there's a stranger at your, do at your door, you hide, man. You just, you hide. You pretend like no one's home. You don't breathe. Lock all the doors, lock all the windows. Like, hmm. Papa. Do I have to go, like, crouch and look out the window? For it'll let me hide? I'm gonna crouch. I'm gonna hate myself for this. You know what? I'm just gonna... You know what? We're gonna do what mom says and go hide. Because it's freaking weird. And I don't like it. My heart is freaking pounding right now. Oh my god. No, go in your room. You dumb kid. Okay, goodbye. Nobody's here. Goodbye. I've set a water bottle as a trap. <laughs> Not really, but here we are. He's breaking in. He's breaking in. I do not perceive. There is no one in this house. Leave me alone. Well, did... Did he... Break... A window... And then ring the doorbell? It's Paula at the door. Paula sent me... Said he's creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. Who is he? Do you hear her? It's Paula at the door. Somehow, I... I know it's coming from, like, my mom, but I also... I don't believe that. Is that bad? I don't believe you. I don't believe that it's the neighbor. <laughs> no. 
no, 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 I'm gonna just... I don't think so. Wii U wagons. Did did I do it? Survivor. I got a little achievement by being a coward. Space to get up. Can I go look outside? There's a policeman. Does that mean that I can go downstairs? It's happier music now. Well, that has been fears to fathom. Uh, <laughs> I, it just kind of kicked me back to the desktop. Um, I didn't, I didn't get more story. So I'm going to have to guess that if he's telling the story on Reddit, he's survived? You know, the mom's right, though. If someone comes to the... Like, don't answer... Like, you heard the glass break. And then someone was ringing the doorbell. So, obviously, there's probably someone in the house. Which we saw that there was someone in the house. And then it was probably going to chase you. And I'm not doing that. Because I am a coward. Um, but, yeah, that has been fierce to fathom. Um... I'm a big chicken, which, you know, it's probably the, the best thing for, like, these based on true event things, but that was definitely interesting. My, I'm anxious, so things like this, just, mm, the anxiety, plus all of the coffee I've had this morning. And that was fierce to fathom. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I had fun even though I just about trapped my pants. I mean, really for no reason other than the fact that there was, like, such a suspenseful environment, and it's like, I didn't even really see anything other than, like, someone going up the stairs, and then, like, the door opening, and it's just like, I don't think so, but, like, thanks for trying. Uh, anyway, um, make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys!